Alright, all right, we're gonna go, hey, welcome to I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> welcome to Chaplain Chat. We are at Ross Point Camp. This is July 4th. Gail and I have had the joy of coming up. Uh, this is our second summer and being the speakers, and I this is such a hoop. And camera guy Dave, uh, kind of scan a bit. Uh, we're at the patio at the dining hall, and we're just standing out there, and I got a special family that um, we're going to introduce at Chaplin Chat. This is Chaplin. This is very famous. You guys are going to be famous because you are on Chaplin Chat. Uh, last year at camp, this is uh, this is a last year at camp. I did a Chaplin Chat with with uh, um, Steve. Steve, Pastor Steve, <laughs> guys. Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember this. We, we don't edit. We don't edit this at all. And Steve is a pastor. I'm going to talk to him in a minute, but he's a pastor of a church, but he's also a cop. But um, we're going to talk to him at the end. But one of the things you were jazzed about last year, because you told me one of the things you were jazzed was this year. Why were you jazzed this year? Because my whole family could be here. Yeah, and your wife is counseling. We're going to yeah. meet with her for a minute. The whole family, and that was such a hoot because one of your daughters right there, this is your last Year. Yeah, yeah. This is your first year, and you've got a couple more years. And the whole family. So, Steve, well, I introduce your family, right? All right. My lovely wife, Ray Lee, of 20 years. Whoa, 20 years. Well, she's not 20 years old, but we've been married 20 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And my lovely daughter, Nicole, who is 18, just about 19, going to go to Arizona Christian University in about another month. Um, in fact, exactly a month. Uh, this is Olivia, my youngest daughter. She's Woo! 14, her first time at actual uh, high school camp. She's been to family camps before and, and fall and spring retreats. And this is my lovely daughter Madison, and this is her second year at camp. And uh, she's going to be a sophomore, or going to be a junior. Um, so yeah, this is my family. Okay, very good. I'm going to come over here, but I'm going to do a little chair switch here. Bro. There we go. All right, so so we've got to get in the order here. Hey, and all, yeah, young as yours. Hey, this, and this is your first? Well, actually, you've been to camp. This is your first senior high camp. Yes. Okay, and I'm really, that's your name again is? Olivia. Real loud. Olivia. Olivia, <laughs> woo! Olivia, this is great. And you, you've been to camp a lot, but this is your first year at senior high camp. What, you know, was there anything this week that God moment or anything that was special for you this week? Um, Being on Chaplain Chat. Yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I guess uh, during worship, I felt hit by one of the, like, the songs. They like, wow. really inspired me, and I felt like this feeling in my stomach, wow. and it was amazing. And, yeah. I, yeah. and it was probably like the best worship experience I've wow. ever had. Wow, amen. That's yeah. Hey, uh, just, this is, a, this is a Christian family. My gosh. Who is Jesus to Jesus is, um, I don't know what to say, um, I guess he is, um, let me help you out, Jesus is, let me just say this, Jesus is amazing, amazing. and my, uh, father and wow. me, What it's well, amazing. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Hey, yeah, thank you. For words. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Two amazing words. Yeah. Sing a song. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm coming over here to second daughter and name again is Madison. 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 Um, uh, I have to tell you, this is your second year, and uh, Madison actually today you actually did the worship service. This is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to do something tonight, but. They were the worship team and the speakers. And Madison, uh, you don't have to share, what, but what you shared was really meaningful to a lot of us. And later on, I'll tell you why it was meaningful to me. But Madison, was there a God moment here at this, anything at this camp or camping in general, that something that's important for you? Real loud. Hearing the testimonies always means a lot to me because I can relate to them. Faye doing worship is amazing. Yeah, this I love is a, Faye. She did a great job, and we're gonna buy, we're gonna do a chaplain chat with Faye and John uh, later on. Yeah, she's the yeah. director of the camp. The, the, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. and uh, during one of the worship services, like um, after it was over, she walked up to me and said, "I can really feel God loving you today." And she put her hand on oh me. Oh my gosh! It just it wow. was like the coolest moment out of everything that's ever wow. happened at camp. So that was a, oh wow! That's definitely Jesus for is me. who to you. Jesus is everything to me. He's my savior, he's my best friend, he's my father, he's wow. everything. 
Wow. Well, <laughs> you did good. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Okay, moving over here, the oldest daughter, and name is again Nicole. And Nicole, and 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 you're gonna. Wow, well, she's. Are you leaving the home? Yep. In a and, month. and and where are you going? Uh, Arizona Christian University. Wow. In Phoenix. Wow. Uh, Nicole was, and this is this this kind of in a way it's kind of sad in a way, but you, there's other camps you can go to. Yeah. You can come. You know, you can come back as a counselor. Yeah, I probably will. All right. You can even be a director like my daughter someday. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Was there a, was there any God moment this week or camping and experience or just? Yeah. Um, I think it's hard to define a God moment. I think there's tons. Of yeah, God I agree. Moments I agree. At this camp, and and they're everywhere. I mean, it, the way that people treat you wow. and include you, you see, you kind of see God everywhere, and just like the way people interact, and of course, like the worship, and you know, just glimpses of Him all week, and that's why I love it here so much because. You know, it's not just in the chapel that, that God's here. He's he showed up all week. All week, didn't he? Okay, your sister's probably blew it, but Jesus is who <laughs> Yeah, they kind of said it all. Um, I guess the only stable thing really in my life wow. right now, because, you know, there's so much change that I'm going through, and that's kind of hard sometimes, but I know that he's always there all the time, and... That's really comforting to fall back on. Oh, the stable. Wow, the rock. Wow. Okay, moving over here. What a who? What a who? This is white. Rayleigh. Rayleigh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and now you, you've been to camp. I mean, you've been to a ton of camps. Yeah. And you probably counseled. Yeah. Had you counseled high school camp before? No. Oh, okay. okay. This is my first time. Uh, are, did they chew you up too much? Oh, no. I love my camp. We have awesome girls in our cabin, and we had some great breakthroughs. with some girls, wow. like, um, some girls that when I first got there, they, one girl didn't really talk too much at all and kept to herself, and now she just... Can't get it to keep quiet. Yeah, I mean, no, seriously, no. <laughs> no, seriously, we just aren't talking wow. all the time and the interaction, and she's always looking for me, like, when we're in a room oh, to wow. go somewhere, and she's wow. like, come to us. daughter's probably blew it, but who is Jesus to you? Yeah, pretty much, but um, <laughs> Jesus is just everything. Um, he's my redeemer, um, and I'm just in awe of the grace that he gives me. You know, I, I can see that in your whole face. I just, I, I just, uh, to be able to experience and feel the feeling I get when I That's a mouthful right there. <laughs> you know, I, I have to tell you something. One of the reasons I really wanted to do this and seeing you guys up here, I'm the chaplain of the jail, and I see a lot of unhealthiness, but they do get healthy in the jail. We don't see a lot of healthy families today. And I, I know you guys are thanking God that you have a family mom and dad and and I need to see this every once in a while I need to see oh oh Lord this is how it's supposed to work where two people get married and, and they love Jesus they stay together and they want Jesus to be in the family and to be honest you ladies probably know this but this is rare in our society today and I'm glad but I need to see it um, Steve, I, I, I had a jazz getting to know you last year. I mean, that was really, Thanks. and I wish I didn't live in, in California. 
probably be going to your church, but tell me something real quick about your church. What's the name of your church? It's uh, First Baptist Church Eureka. It's an older church. We've been there like 105 years, something like that. And we've kind of gone through pastor after pastor. Uh, since I've been there, I think we've had three. And uh, I've been there a year and a half. And the whole, my whole idea of church is uh, to not be a museum, to be a hospital, to wow. bring wow. folks in that don't know Jesus and get them to know Jesus. So I try to get away from all the liturgical stuff. We do very little hymns now. We're slowly trying to make it so that um, everyone feels comfortable. Wow. Like, like I was telling you earlier that you mentioned on the first part of the tape, and I don't know who said it, but I think it was in a book I was reading, said uh, every time you walk into the church, you and your leaders and even your church members or family should try to look at the church in three ways. That first way is those that have never been to church before, fresh, they're walking in, what are they seeing, what are they looking at, what are the attitudes to the people that have been burned by church, that um, that have been to a church, that, that uh, they don't walk in and say, yeah, this is going to be just like the church that burned me. And number three, like someone that's been in church their whole life, try to respect that while not forgetting that new people are coming in that may not know the Lord's Prayer. Wow. That may not know wow. the, the special benediction wow. or the, the things that we say. So kind of like a no experience necessary church is what I'm striving for. And so far it's worked. Uh, we're running not quite double, but getting close to double what we were when when I started. And one of the other things that, that didn't, that's really helped is because I'm also a police officer, that's my, my full-time job. And so I don't get intimidated by the folks in the church, you know, oh, it's always been this way, you know, and trying to be afraid that I'm going to lose my job. All I have to do is worry about what he Amen. thinks. And if I'm doing what I think he's telling me to do, then, you know, I don't have to worry about it. And I don't have to, if they fire me, you know what, I still got a job and a house and I don't have to worry about providing for my family. So it, it's made it really freeing to be able to do that. So, and it's, I'm really busy. I'm also a tattoo artist. Yeah. Um, I have a tattoo shop that's, not open uh, every day but by appointment so I stay busy I like to stay busy uh, and, you know sometimes too busy but uh, it's been cool it's a cool journey we had a counselor in fact we have our counselor uh, uh, time every day out on this deck right. and uh, st you know you said something I thought was really good your dad does say things good now and then doesn't he <laughs> does he okay all right all right usually it's no yeah but. yeah well they got to do it this time because you're on chaplain chat um, <laughs> But we're talking about when you're training officers, this really got to me. What's the most important lesson when you're training new police officers? What's the most important thing they need to know? How to shoot a gun? No, this is, this is what I tell them. Um, and it's always a different answer. Every time I get a new recruit in my car, I'm, I'm a training officer for the Sheriff's Department. I've been a law enforcement officer for 20 years. I've trained, I don't know how many police officers. And I ask them, what is the most important thing about this job? What is your goal? And I'll get to fight crime. I'll get to suppress the evil. I'll get um, to take bad guys to jail, to do a, a good, you know, I get all these different answers. To protect society is one of the big ones. Um, but that's not it. The most important thing is that you go home that night. That you go home that night. Right. That if you don't go home, you don't get to come back the next day to keep society safe and do all those other things that are really secondary. The number one thing is get yourself home. You know, I, I, I gotta tell you, I, I read into things, but I think that's the call of Christians. I think that's the call of the church. We want people to get home. That's the most important thing to get home. You know, I, I, I gotta tell you one last thing. I'm feeling a little better right now, <laughs> but I gotta tell you what Steve and I did. They got this song. It's going, oh, 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 or whatever. And Steve starts dancing, and I had to dance with him. And I didn't stretch, and I messed up my back, but I love to dance. Guys, you helped me dance right now. Probably one of the longer chaplain chats I've done, but I don't care, because it's my show. But I want to thank you guys, and I was looking forward to this for some time. I really was, and meeting all of you. And here's the sign off. Are you ready? If you, if you don't do it right, we're gonna to have to do this whole thing over again. All right? All right. I know. I know. Worry. I'm gonna say, folks, I want to thank you for watching, and I'm gonna say, guys, I want to thank you for being on, and I really want to thank you for being on, and just.
hearing you, getting to know you. Um, I'm going to say thank you for being on it. You get to say, chat, blood, chat. All right, you ready for this? All right, here we go. Hey, I want to thank you folks for watching. And I really want to thank you guys for being on Chaplin Chat. Chaplin Chat. Woo! <laughs> and that's.